The church of Balaye Podithu is located near the old Galada village in the small fertile valley of the Gargodis River. According to the dedicatory inscription, the church was built in 1502 by the Greek military officer Demetrius de Coron. The church is surrounded in its three sides by a later yew portico, sheltered by the same steep pitched roof. The church was never completely adorned with wall paintings, frescoes today exist primarily in the sanctuary. The main arch features the Virgin Mary enthroned with Christ on her lap. Flanking her are the two archangels dressed in resplendently embroidered raiments and bearing candles, bowing with piety and paying homage. Further down, in two tableaux, one notices the Apostles' Communion, complete with the passing of the bread and wine. These wall paintings are considered some of the finest examples of the Italo-Byzantine school in Cyprus. In the crucifixion on the western wall, both the elements which comprise it as well as the strong palette, the use of relative size and the third dimension clearly indicate the influence of the art of Italian Renaissance. At the northeasternmost point of Balejori village, one comes across the Church of the Metamorphosis of the Saviour. It is a small rectangular building ending in the east in a semicircular arch embedded in the straight wall. The arch depicts the Virgin Mary in an upright position of supplication between the archangels and is identified as the Lady of Angels. All of the icons are the work of the same artist and his students. The unknown painter of the Church of the Metamorphoses of the Saviour, who most probably lived and worked during the third decade of the 16th century, is presented as one of the finest representatives of the Cypriot school of art. His excellence in the depiction of saints in a standing position is apparent. The technique employed is that used more commonly for movable icons, one in practice since the 14th century, even though it was not used in relation to movable icons in Cyprus until the 16th century. Banayir du Araga Church is located northwest of Lagodera village on the way to the neighboring village of Sarandi. Architecturally, the church is a single aisle dome hall with a cross-shaped roof. In addition to the later frescoes dating back to the 14th and 17th centuries on the external surface of the north wall, the adornment of the Banayir du Araga Gatholigon was, according to the dedicatory inscription, funded in 1192. Of particular mention is the icon of the standing Banayir Aragyodisa holding Christ in her arms on the south wall, as well as a large inscription comprising a supplication offered by the donor, Leon Aftendis. The painter, identified by most Byzantinologists as Theodoros Absevdis, is an established artist of great talent, well versed in the artistic trends of his time. The main characteristics of his work are the tall, thin and lithe classical figures distinguished by lively movement full of dynamism and pulse, as well as the serpentine endings of their garments fold. His colours, albeit bright, are masterfully blended, lending the entire icon a sense of colour, harmony and brilliance. Located in the northwest of the village of Bladanistasa, the Church of the Holy Cross of Ayasmadi is timber roofed and surrounded on all sides by a covered portico that is unique in Cyprus. The adornment of the church was undertaken by a Hellenized Syrian Orthodox artist, Philippos Wall, in 1494. The artist appears to have employed various techniques, featuring an abundance of influences which, however, he does not seem able to assimilate in a mature way. The upper
Corpora of his frescoes contains various biblical scenes, strongly reminiscent of miniatures of medieval manuscripts. Much closer to Byzantine tradition is the depiction in the bottom row of various saints in a standing position. A very interesting and popular figure is that of Saint Mamas riding a lion. This features the traditional Cypriot iconography with Eastern influences with the whole icon based on one incident in the life of the saint.